Hi, today we are going to learn about adsorption. What do you mean by adsorption? Adsorption is a surface phenomenon. Means any species which is coming and sitting on the surface and it stays there for some time, we call that as adsorption. It is a surface phenomenon generally. So what are the forces acting there? Generally adsorption is of two types, physical adsorption and chemical adsorption. Physical adsorption is temporary and weak force of attraction persist between the physis option and chemis option is permanent there strong chemical bonds are involved in chemis option so we'll say how to express the adsorption let's say you are saying that okay some amount of gas is absorbed and given mass of adsorption so how to express this this is expressed by amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent means how much gas is adsorbed per given mass of adsorbent we call it as adsorption or we can express adsorption like this. So there are two scientists came forward to explain this adsorption theory. One is Friendlich. And another one is Langwood. Friendlich and Langwood came forward to explain about adsorption, monolayer adsorption. We will say about Friendlich equation. Friendlich, what he says? He says amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent is directly proportional to pressure. So let's say y is x by m. Y is amount of x is amount of gas adsorbed and m is unit mass of adsorbent is directly proportional to pressure. Why well, it is like that? Okay. Assume that <coughs> I have charcoal in my hand. I want charcoal to get uh, charcoal to adsorb some gas. So that gas will not come directly and sit on the charcoal. There should be some external force applied. That is your pressure. When you apply pressure, that gas molecules come and sit or adsorb on the charcoal. As you increase the pressure, amount of gas adsorb also increases. So amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent is directly proportional to pressure. To remove the proportionality constant, put some constant. Let's say it has k and p another constant we will get to here for the p raised to the power of 1 by n n and k are constants k and n are constants so k is adsorption rate constant but n what is n small n this n is a constant pertaining to the adsorbing species let's say if you have charcoal its value will change n value will change if you have silica value will change depending upon the adsorbing species n value will change it is a constant for particular adsorbing species now if you plot a graph for this you will get a graph like this so to plot the graph here the known thing we can take on x axis if you want to see how to convert an equation into a graph or y is equal to mx plus c i give the link in the description or in the i button go and check it so known thing is kept on x axis and unknown thing is kept on y axis, unknown thing is x by m. Known is I know how much pressure I am applying but I don't know how much gas is going to adsorb on the adsorbent. So if you increase the pressure, amount of gas adsorb also increases, increases, increases but at particular level it gets leveled up. What it is explaining, we will see in the diagrammatic form. So let us assume this is a charcoal particle and this is a gas particle so when i increase the pressure amount of gas adsorb also increases number of gas molecules adsorbing also increases so pressure is increasing amount of gas adsorb also increases pressure increase and amount of gas adsorb also increases at particular point it is getting leveled off because there is no further space available for the incoming gas molecules to get adsorbed so we are getting plateau or leveling off now i want to make this graph straight why if you have a straight line if you have only one slope it is easy for you to read the graph so to make this graph straight take this equation and apply log if i apply log for this equation it will be converted into log x by m is equal to here I am applying log so log x by m is equal to log k plus if I apply log here so 
we will recall the equation log x to the power of m is equal to m log x. So, 1 by n log p. Above equation, when I applied log, it will be converted like this. Now, I want to draw a graph by taking this equation. Before that, you should know on which coordinate what I have to keep. On x-axis what I have to keep and y-axis what I have to keep. So, let's write that equation for straight graph y is equal to mx plus c. So, I said keep known thing on x-axis. So, your log p will go on x-axis. Whatever beside x, this is x-axis. Whatever beside x is your slope. So, 1 by n will become slope. This thing will become intercept. And this thing will become y axis. If you plot the graph, so no thing is on x axis, so log p, unknown thing on y axis, so log x by m. A straight graph, if you extrapolate that graph, this graph will intercept on y axis, we call that as intercept, that is log k. And the slope is 1 by m. So why I am writing it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c? Because in this form, I can't able to calculate what is the value of these constants. In this plane form, I can't able to calculate from this graph. By converting this into log form and writing a graph which has a straight line, now I can, by slope, I can calculate what is the end value. And by intercept, I can calculate what is the k value. To know the value of the constants, we are converting this equation into y is equal to mx plus c and we are drawing the graph.